So we've seen that we can do just your basic title there. We can here. This is where Aiden says, "I sit on you." Let's highlight it and attach the titler effect. And the settings from the last one are going to be your settings for the next one. So we've already positioned it. We don't have to worry about doing that again. Uh, now sometimes when you do this, depending on how you're setting this up, the text is not going to show up because your cursor is actually on the left side or the right side of your effect. Far right, far left, and you're not going to see what's going on. Don't worry about it. If you ever see that, you've got an effect, you know the color is right, click in the center, and there you go. So, I sit on you, is what he said. We do that, close it, and we got. I sit on you. <laughs> and you've got your subtitles going. The great thing is you can match this to your waveform down here so you know what's going on. And here is a cool thing you can do uh, kind of effect wise with a titler. Let's go over here. I'm going to highlight a big old selection. Add the titler to it. We're going to totally clear it out here. We are going to enable keyframes. I'm going to start over here. Now give me a little more time. Let's hit play. Here we go. Okay, so it recorded each keystroke that we did because we were modifying the title. <laughs> and we end up with that cool effect of stuff typing. Now if you're a good typist, you know, hey, that's cool. You can just type it straight in. If you're not a good typist, well, just A here, B here, C here, D here, whatever. <coughs> you uh, would like click here. Turn on your keyframe. Or we already have the keyframe on. So we modify the text, modify the text, modify the text, modify the text. You got it going on. You can also do this if you want to. Uh, okay, we don't want keyframes on because it will record whatever the last setting is. So we'll have a section where there is our text from the previous one. the title, clear out the text, let's go up here, let's turn on our keyframes, we're going to have recorded nothing, and then we can say it ran out of the batteries, and since we're not moving, this acts as one event. Go over here a little bit, insert another keyframe. <laughs> and we have modified the text in real time. So what we end up with is. So there's a lot of different ways you can tweak this and make it really work for you. And like I said, you're going to want to put these on a video track above this if you're working with stuff you have not deinterlaced yet. Okay, here's a little trick to take with you. It'll come in handy when you're doing other things. So we have got all this dead space right after my name is Aid and I like to jump. Doesn't really need to be there because we don't want the title to linger that long. So we're going to click here, drag it on down. The problem is. Now the other title moved on down with it, and now it's not in the right spot. So let's Z to undo what we did. 
Let's move here to where our cursor turns into the arrow. Hit the shift key, click, drag it on down to here. That works for me. And see, it didn't move. So you want to know how to do a bump now, one of those cool little adult swim type text bumps. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to add our music for it. Now normally what I do here is I just do the bump first on its own little track and then I paste in the video that I want to use after it. But we have already got our video going on here. So I'm going to show you from this point forward. We'll double click on our music. and music starts when the music starts so we know it's pretty good so let's go up here and select oh about a minute to 19 seconds have that be our out point go to the very beginning have that be our end point and I already added a couple of extra audio tracks so let's not be working with the ones that are associated with our project let's enable these two and we know from the previous time using these that we need to take this down a little bit <laughs> start at the beginning of the project and let's paste there we go now then let's just mute the output of our project here because we're not worrying about that just yet let's see where we want this to start Okay, he says I like right at just about 14 seconds. So we're going to want to uh, move things over by 14 seconds. So we are done with these tracks. Let's deselect them for the time being. Let's click on the little speaker icon to bring back all of our other tracks. And let's select them so that we're working with it.